Hi, we are here at Heroes and Villains Fan Fest in California with the wonderful Rick Coslett. Doing like a Blue Steel impression. <laughs> I was. I was totally not being myself in that moment. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Patel. It is very uh, good to see you again. Welcome, Mr. Cosset. It's very good to see you. I'm glad to see you back from the dead because last time we talked, you just oh, jumped out of a window. Oh, dear. Yes. <laughs> in, a, in Quantico. Someone just came up to me and said, I, I like you the most because you always commit suicide. <laughs> so uh, I thought that was quite, quite funny, Weird quite compliment. Dark. Yeah. Very dark. <laughs> well, speaking of that, is there any chance that you might be back? Um, again, you had mentioned they were have thinking about bringing you back. Yeah, yeah. So um, I'm hoping that um, they will. I mean, obviously, I can't say, but um, we'll see. With the whole Flashpoint thing and all the new timelines, um, it's really exciting because I guess anything's possible. And um, I think we should see more of Eddie, so I'm pushing for it. Yeah. 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 I think so too. And obviously in terms of resurrections, will you be back on the flash? Um, I feel, I feel so bad that you have to stand and I'm just, no, I'm no, just like sitting good. here. Like, it's good for me. Okay. <laughs> we can lean. This um, is I apologize for that in advance. <laughs> um, what was your question? <laughs> <laughs> will you be back on the flash? Um, I can't say. But, but possibly. Um, cr cross your fingers and toes. Well, if yeah. you are back, I mean, we are at Heroes and Villains. So would you want to be a hero or a villain? Um, I'd want to be a villain, of yeah. course, because I think Eddie was, was is so nice, and he was so nice for so long um, that it would be it would be cool to see him slowly transition into something um, a little more delicious. Go to the you know dark I mean? side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. <laughs> like a nice dark um, chocolate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a bit beige. You know what I mean? <laughs> like nice. he needs some colors. Colors in there. Um, but you know, I think that's why we loved him as well because yeah. he was so. Um, um, yeah, he, he was he was just such a genuinely good person and almost irritatingly awesome. Yeah. Um, but one thing that did irritate him was Barry, in a sense, because he knew there was something going on with Iris. Yeah. What do you think he'd make of that now, especially with Flashpoint? Would you think he'd be a bit like, why did you reset the button? Um, what do you think he'd make of of, of them yeah. now? Yeah. Whew, I, I don't know. I think I think he might be a bit jealous now. Actually, I think. Um, I think, because at the end, it really started to get to him a little bit, because he couldn't ignore it. I think after there was a little denial there at yeah. first, and then he thought Barry wasn't even a threat, so he was just being nice to him. Yeah. Um, and because he was genuinely sort of risen above it, and he was like, oh, well, they have something special, you yeah. know. But then he started thinking, no, this is getting too much in, in the end. Um, and now I think he might actually, it would be really fun to see him be really jealous. Yeah. And like, and the poison tree kind of grow inside of him. Ooh, maybe and, that will turn him villainous. Right. And then, right. and then become, because that's how, that's what's so fascinating about good, good versus evil, you know, and, and cause we all have it inside ourselves is that, you know, when you do start going down that, that negative spiral, you just kind of turn into this, this awful, um, creature, I guess, you know, and some people are, are like that, you know, like, like terrible people that I yeah. know. Oh, wow. Um, and, or you can choose to, to kind of take the high road, you yeah. know, yeah. and that's, I guess what heroes are and that's what villains are. Right. I feel like you've written your own storyline back into the Flash, haven't you? <laughs> I have so many fucking storylines. Yeah. It's great. I mean, I, I need to start pitching. That's yeah. what I think I need to listen have up, balls. Flash producers. I need to actually yeah. get it, go into the rise room, start pitching, pitching, because I have so many stories for Eddie. I yeah. have like, I have timelines of my own. I mean, in my eyes, I was always the main character uh, on yeah, that show. Yeah, it was definitely you the Eddie show. To approach it like that, right? <laughs> yes. It's, just, it's all about me. Or there could um, be another spin-off. I mean, we've got a few already. Disappointing. Um, yeah, a spin-off, right. A totally, totally another spin-off. Yeah. Just the Eddie Thorne show. Yeah, absolutely. It would work. Um, and I would, instead of being the, the lead hero, I could be the lead villain. And I don't think that's ever been done before. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. You need, you need so to even though that. the arrow is kind of dark because he's a vigilante, I would take it like a step further. I would love to see that. <laughs> so lastly, the other show that you've been on that a lot of people will know you from was The Vampire Diaries. Yes. That show is finishing now. So right. are you up to date with that's, that? That's crazy. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not up to date with it, but I, I have been, of course, you're bombarded. With, I mean, you can't, you're living under a rock if you don't know what's going on with The Vampire Diaries. Um, so I know, you know, that Nina's not there anymore and, um, and, 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 but I would love for like Dr. Wes to go back on yeah. that show 
and just resurrection again really fuck shit up <laughs> <laughs> like one last time and maybe actually eradicate the species and there could be these am amazing death scenes amazing. you've again written your storyline back in for the finale of course yeah well when it's all about me it's quite easy <laughs> Well, thank you so much for talking to us. It's going to be more about you because there's lots of fans waiting for you. Okay. But we really appreciate talking to you and have a great you too, time. Dr. Thank, thank you. you. Amazing.